and welcome to the Atma Podcast. It's your boy, back with a solo one. All right, I'm doing a solo. Now, the reason for this is because when we normally do an episode on a Thursday, I wanted to do a live stream, then realized that the England game is on at five. I want to watch the England game. And I think a lot of people who, well, a lot of people who watch this podcast and listen to this podcast will probably watch that England game too. And I bet you there's a lot more people who don't really like football currently happen to watch football as well. So I just thought it was best to do a solo episode. You can watch it and listen to it whenever you are free. And if, hey, if you're here fucking from, you know, minute one of the upload time, thank you. You are a real G. I don't know what that really means, but you're an OG. Original gangster. I do know what that means. You're an OG, and I respect it. But needs must. England, football, you know what I mean? It's got to be done. Stay hydrated, everyone. Obviously, I don't want to, you know, miss that message out on the uh, probably one of the hottest days of the year. It's been an absolute scorcher today. I'm filming this on a uh, on the Wednesday, the day before, which, you know, I probably should have just done this earlier in the week, but preparations are preparations, and I don't have any. So, yeah, anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope your day, wherever you are listening to this or watching this from, is going well. I hope your life's going well. I want the best for you, you know. So today I thought, you know what, I've been pissed off by a certain omission, a removal of an item from the McDonald's menu. So I thought we should go through like the worst things on fast food menus. Debate about, um, obviously, this would have worked better as a live stream because I would have got a live chat going. But let me down, let me know down in the comments. Right? If, if you don't agree, and there will be one thing I think people probably already know from my previous talks on fast food there's one thing in particular that a lot of people like that i do not like and i think it is probably one of the worst most disgusting things you can put together like as a as a like a staple that people normally go to this is just not it but yeah i do want to take this opportunity just to say first of all um i'm just going to drink this if you if you're listening to this i've been holding this drink in front of my face for about a minute so i will take the squig you know asmr oh, that's fresh <laughs> that's nice good where the fuck did i put the cap there we go translucent cap on a white desk nightmare um so i want to take this opportunity and uh, i don't want to be sued for this but the feeling is real I want to say big fuck you to McDonald's because they have broken my heart. They have. Why in the living fuck would you get rid of the sour cream and chive dip? Why? Like it's it's literally one of if not the best condiment they provide. And I said condiment. You know, I feel brainy. So what else do they have? McDonald's sauces. Now, they've got the sweet chili. They've got the barbecue. They've actually got two variations of the barbecue now. A lot, I mean, like, the they've got the smoky barbecue, which is one of the ones you would get normally if you want to get selects, which, you know, I don't know if it's controversial. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Way better. The selects at McDonald's are fucking better than the mini fillets at KFC. And KFC are pretty much chicken. So I don't know what the Colonel's, you know, doing there. He's dropped the ball. But yeah, it's one of the dips you can get with your selects. They now do a nine, a nine piece select box. Oh, baby. So let's have a look at the sauces. I swear, if it if it turns out they haven't got 
they haven't got rid of the uh, sour cream and chiveness just in my area, I'm going to fucking kick off even more. Let let us know, right? That's a great shout. I'm going to thank myself right now. If you have still got access to sour cream and chive dips at your McDonald's where you live, please let me know down in the comments. Please make it be known that they're still out there. Because for all I, all I know, they're gone. They're like dead. They're never coming back. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, they've literally just pushed an extra, like, three. No. What's the biggest? That was five selects was the biggest you could get. So they've put another four in, made a different size select box that you can get, and taken one of the fucking sauces away and replaced it with another barbecue. Well, it's not really replaced. They did, you know, have it beforehand. But why have two barbecue dips? Just keep to one. You know, they're not even that different. But that is heartbreaking news. Heartbreaking news. They did have, uh, I think they've got like a new garlic mayo. Who the fuck cares? Honestly, one of the, just like who the fuck cares? It's an absolute travesty. And, you know, I'm getting fucked off by it. And I'm I'm entitled to. But I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat bastard. You know, this is important to me. No, look, I really like the sour cream and chive. Look, I think it's the best condiment they have. And they've gotten rid of it. And that, that outrage has led to me thinking, oh, it'll be a good idea if uh, we do an episode, or just by myself, if I do an episode about the shittest items on fast food chain menus. You know what I mean? Probably give it a better title than that because that's pretty shite and it's, that probably won't work with the uh, the SEO very well. But yeah, so we'll start off with, with McDonald's. I think, you know, I'm sat here. I can't, I can't for good, you know, all good conscience leave out the fillet of fish. What an abomination that is. I just want to get a picture of that up, actually. The fillet of fish. It's awful. Like, whoever devised this, I really hope is in prison. Because they fucking should be if they're not. It's just sad looking, you know? It's just sad looking. Let's open it. I'm going to open this image in a new... Oh, that's a really low-quality image. (laughs) Maybe not. What about this one? That's also pretty shit. But you get the point. You get it. It's it's, it's just very sad. It makes me sad looking at it, you know? Again, let us know down in the comments. If you're a filet of fish connoisseur, and that's what you're fucking served up, are you telling me that is worth your money. Are you telling me that's the best that you can get on their menu? That's disgusting. If you're ordering that, all right, if you order it, you order it maybe as like a intrigue, you know, like I really wonder how bad it is. Order it. You have it. You realize it's shit. And then you move on with your life. If you're someone who continuously orders this thing, or even just, you know, every couple of months orders it, you're a wrong one. You're a fucking absolute 100% certified certificate badge holding nonce. There is no way that you can convince me that that, what you are looking at right now, if you're watching this, of course, what you're looking at right now is anything short of an abomination that is disgusting you need to sort your life out you need to pick yourself up and dare i say it you need to fucking splash some you know probably not boiling but some decent temperature water on your face to wake yourself up because that is just wrong there's no other category for it it's wrong it's not like all oh, taboo. People are like, oh, it's a kink. It's fucking wrong. Like, you don't fuck with a filet of fish. You just don't. The filet of fish is absolute shite. 
Just wanted to get that out of the way. If you are a connoisseur of the fillet of fish, I, do you know what? I did say let us know, you know, down below. I don't give a fuck. Like, don't comment if you like fillet of fish. The first, the first time I've ever done it, don't comment. All right? Don't do it. I've had enough. Honestly, disgusting. Disgusting. What's the new menu item that they have that everyone's like slightly kicking off about? It's um, it's the one with the three patties. It's not the triple cheeseburger. That so even the the, the triple cheeseburger is just too much. Like if you really want that amount of meat, just get two double cheeseburgers. They're far better, like far more manageable than trying to fucking gobstop the fucking shit out of the triple cheeseburgers, all right? It's just, it's just not right. It's not right. Just just calm down. Get two double cheeseburgers, all right? Do you think the thing that makes me laugh about it is that people who order the triple cheeseburger, like, again, you might have one is like, oh, it's new. I'll try it, see what's going on. But if you have it regularly, people will just look at you like, why don't you just order two double cheeseburgers? And then if you say price, we'll say fair play. But if you then say, oh, well, it's one burger, you know, I don't want two burgers. You're literally, you're halfway there, mate. Just have another fucking double cheese. Fuck's sake. It's not, it's not rocket science, man. It's burger science. And that is a science. Yeah, you can actually get a degree in burgers. If anyone would know, it would be me. What is it called? I can't remember what it would be called. Burger. The hat trick. That's what it's called. Oh, what a fucking shit show this looks like. Again, like, why is it needed? Why is that picture so pixelated? Oof. It's just not it's not required in any fashion. No, I've not tried this to be fair, so I'm gonna to have to go from the feedback that other people have said. Now I've witnessed two people say to me that they didn't get pretty much fifty percent of the extra stuff that you're meant to get with the hat trick. They uh obviously you got the three patties. That's minimum. If you're not getting the three patties, then you're not even having a hat trick. You're having something else. But it's meant to come with onions, and it's meant to come with mayo and ketchup, I believe. A couple of people I've talked to haven't got the onions, so it's just I don't I don't want to I don't want to call like McDonald's lazy, but it's fucking lazy. I mean, it's just taking something that they've already basically got sticking another patty in it and perhaps a, a dash of other sauce it's like well let's call it that it's just shit honestly like it's poor that's poor from mcdonald's ronald what the fuck are you doing mate that's the, that's just not right it needs to be more thought in it i tell you what just to break away from the worst items on menus. I'm going to break away and give McDonald's a little bit of credit here. The Philly cheese stack. Oh my God. When that came out, first of all, I've got to admit when that came out, I was thinking disgusting. That looks rank, but looks do deceive. And let me tell you, I was wrong. I was fucking wrong. Let me get the Philly cheese stack up. Because that was just, oh, that's probably one of the best things they've ever fucking had. Like, not even, not even fucking about. Like, that is one of the best things they have ever had. In my opinion, like, one of the best burgers, the the rotating special things they do every other month. That's like one of the best things I've ever had. Easily. Easily. 
pop out on the screen because that is I do apologize if you are in any way slightly hungry I may have made you more hungry I am do apologize about that I do but look at that I mean to be fair it doesn't look that much it doesn't look amazing but it is nice it is really nice and that that cheese that cheese sauce at the top chef kiss chef kiss i don't know why i'm emoting um it's just part of who we are now it's what we do but what a fucking menu item i'd fucking absolutely and i, I do apologize for swearing a lot it's just how i communicate but i would smash i would smash like three of them easy and then you know probably regret it whilst on the toilet shitting out my entire body but I think it's worth it. It's a good deal. But yeah, McDonald's, bring that shit back, man. Bring it back. I'm I'm itching for the chili, the Philly cheese stack back, yo. Oh, what? Yo? 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 Oh, I have gone full just delirious. I've got to say, today's been a struggle. And it's been a struggle because of hay fever. I know people will be like, whoa, fuck hay fever is shit. It's it's all bullshit. You're just trying to make it out or it's worse than it is. It's not. It's pretty shit. It is pretty bad. My eyes have been watering all day. I don't know if you can see it. They look a bit glassy. I've not done any weed. I promise. That's that's an atma promise. No weed. Yeah. But oh, it's just been one of those days, you know, where your eyes just watering nose constantly having to sniff do you know what i mean that's i do again sorry if you're put off by that i do apologize but it is what it is you're here that's what you're here for you're here for that sort of asmr quality content that's what you're here for yeah 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 i have actually lost the fucking plot like i don't even know what the fuck i'm doing right now you're literally witnessing and listening to the unraveling of a human being. Anyway, back to the Philly cheesesteak being one of the godly items that they obviously don't do anymore. Hopefully they bring it back. Hopefully they do. But I want to talk about I want to talk about something else. Now this might be controversial. I've said that quite a lot in this podcast. But I genuinely do feel this is going to be controversial. Now, the breakfast wrap, okay? For how many years that it's been without any love at all from McDonald's, just completely scrapped from the menu, unceremoniously, by the way, disgusting behavior from McDonald's. Honestly, could not, could not have treated a more deserved godly item on the breakfast menu, at least, with any more disdain than they did. They couldn't have done it. They have absolutely tarnished the reputation of respecting their menu items. But I hear you saying, but Lozzy, it's back. It's been back for weeks. Meh. Fucking shut up. Look, the breakfast wrap now is not half as good as the breakfast wrap was. And you know why? Eggs. I know eggs were in it before you fucking start. I know eggs were in the fucking wrap. But they weren't the fucking poached eggs. They were scrambled egg sheets. Well, what I assume were scrambled egg sheets. They're like the folded egg, which is like a square or rectangle, and it was folded into the wrap. Whereas now, the wrap has, and I don't know why they've done this, the wrap has two round poached eggs or soft, but I don't know what the, I don't really know the technicalities of it. I think it's poached. They look poached. But the circular eggs just don't hit the same. They're too, like, I nearly said eggy, and I wanted to punch myself in the face for even thinking about it because that doesn't make any sense but they're too they take too they take 
too much space up in the wrap. They're too volumey. That's not even a word. They got too much volume. That is a word. Oh, let's go. I need a fucking drink. They got too much volume. It makes the wrap difficult to eat because you've got egg, egg. You know, depending on how many slices of sausage you have in it, some people are mental, have more than like two. That's mental. But if you have like two eggs, which is standard as far as I'm aware, every one that I've had, and I've had like three or four of them, every single one has had two round fucking poached eggs in it. You got the hash brown. You got the um, sausage patty, and you got the sauce. It's too the the eggs are too much. It needs to be that thin, rectangular slice of folded egg, and it was nicer. It just went better. The cheese just felt like it melted better with the folded egg. It just it just seemed better. Everything seemed better. But then everything did back then. You know, pre-COVID, we were loving it. That wasn't even a... a, I did not even try and make that into a pun. And it ended up being a pun. I don't even know if that was a pun. Is that correct? Let me know down in the comments. There's going to be some form of, you know, English and grammar. I don't want to say the N-word. Not that N word, the other N word, just in case. But the old, you know what I mean? I, I can say it, can't I? Literally, look, there's a lot of grammar Nazis out there. Demonetized. Oh, no, look. Just correct me nicely, all right? So I can learn. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. But yeah, the, um, that is just not great on any level. I don't like it. It's not. It just makes it makes me not want to order anything from the breakfast menu because the eggs are all the same. I realize I'm getting hung up on the egg thing. I like eggs, right? But the folded egg is and will always be the better variant of the egg that McDonald's offer. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, let me take a quick swig. And we'll talk about KFC. I know I've only done like three items on the men- the menu at McDonald's, but we've got to move on. We've got to move on because KFC is coming up. KFC. Right. Let's start at the absolute controversial bombshell that I'm probably sure there's some of you who know what's coming. Gravy at KFC is wank. Like, I cannot fucking fathom, if you are not Northern, I don't understand why you would want chips or fries. I don't know which way you want to fucking call it. You know, call it what you want. I understand why you want those two things together, fries and gravy. They're disgusting together. If it's mashed potato and you put gravy on it, okay, I get. I get it. I mean, it's not the best taste combo in the world, but I get it. But if you're taking something that has a crispy outer layer and then dipping it in something which is so saturated and fucking viscous, it just makes the entire thing mushy. And I don't like mushy chips or mushy fries. They want to, the reason they're fried is to give them a crisp coating, and then you're putting them in something that immediately is going to make it not that way. What's even worse is that you get some people who pour out their chips on a plate and then pour the gravy over it. Um, war crime, war crime, fucking criminal. Stop that person. Report them. Nine nine nine. Just fucking call it in, because I've had enough. I, I just literally don't understand it. Even if you're nor, even if you're from the north, and it's like ingrained from birth, you know. Oh look, lads coming up. This is a terrible northern accent, by the way. You're about to experience. 
Hey, look, he's got fucking, like, he's got potatoes, he's got fucking gravy, he's, he's my son, he is, he's fucking my boy, he's my boy, he is. He's a right fucking lad, he is. Uh, chips and gravy, oh, what a lad. Yeah, I don't understand, like, even if you're northern, that is just, surely that's a fucking abomination, because it's not like mash and gravy, it's not like a roast. You're almost taking the piss by having it with fries or chips. For me, I don't know. Look, I know there's a lot of people who love KFC gravy. Jordan loves KFC gravy, you know, and, you know, I don't know. That's the one thing that I just don't think you can be re- redeemed from, if I'm all honesty. If I'm all honesty, in all honesty, fuck you now. Look, there are other things on the KFC menu that wind me up, but. KFC gravy takes the fucking piss. It's also, if you're ordering beans, if you order beans from KFC, fuck off. Honestly, fuck off. Like, I'd, I'd sooner see you order coleslaw. Just honestly, that's such a fucking weird behavior. Oh, do you know what will go perfect with this meal that I've got? beans why My, beans are the sort of thing that you have for dinner or tea or if you're you know if you're a tory supper beans you wouldn't have beans if you're a tory so you probably don't even know what beans are if you listen to this in a tory beans are a peasant um tinned good that you find on the uh, ambient and tin dials. I know you probably don't go there very often, but yeah, they're in a tin. You have to open the tin. You pour it into a bowl, put it into a microwave. Probably don't have one of those either because you have, you know, personal chefs. And then uh, basically it comes out piping hot, tomato sauce with some beans in it. That's, That's the general gist. So just to catch the Tories up. Right. You're ordering beans. Like, there is something wrong mentally with you. If you think, ah, fried chicken, nice mini fillet, not as good as select. I just, I don't understand the connection of, yes, I would love a quarter of a tin of baked beans with this lovely gravy and fry meal i will be having at home it's just an absolute travesty in my opinion i can't i can't be dealing with it and if you if you're going to be in the comments defending it i just don't want to hear from you i really don't like i've lost all faith in any redemption in your life if you are ordering if you get given them for free fair enough if you're literally picking a side and go, beans will do. <laughs> Prison for you. It's just, nah, can't be dealing with it. Next one, oh, I've already touched on this, mini fillets. Overrated. They really are overrated. How can how can McDonald's outdo you at chicken when Kentucky Fried Chicken is your entire brand? How is that possible? I also think with McDonald's, right, just to go back to McDonald's very briefly, the consistency, I'd say the only thing that they're ever really consistent with is selects. Selects are normally pretty fucking good. Whether you get the dips or not, that's another story. But with mini fillets and KFC, like like the regular chicken they do, it's a complete lottery whether you're getting the sloppiest, like, rubbered up motherfucking piece of shit mini fillet. That's great visuals, by the way. Um, Or great description. And if you get the regular chicken, like, there are some parts. I've had, like, bargain buckets before. Wee. Not like that at KFC, right? I've had bargain buckets before where... I have actually questioned the validity of the meat 
that is inside that fucking thing. Like some of the shapes don't make sense. You like look at a chicken and you go, a chicken doesn't have that part on it. What the fuck is that? Yeah, you, know, you see the old like rib cage. You're like, okay. I guess I'll just chew the fuck out of the bones then. I know they've all. I know they're all got bones. Don't be a fucking dickhead. I'm just saying. You also need to be lucky with the person putting the order together because they could be an arsehole and give you like really shit bits of chicken. I've had that before. It ruins the fucking experience. It really does. Plus, I find the uh, chicken like, I know everything on this list is going to be salty because it's from fast food chains. But the fucking original recipe chicken at KFC, it's like fucking eating Gandhi's flip-flop with salt on it sometimes. Allegedly, must, allegedly, possibly, maybe. Oh, fuck. I fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked it. All right? I'm losing the plot. But, yeah, I do I do think that KFC need to up the game on the mini fillets. It's got to be done. Like, the coating isn't crispy enough, right? I think that's one of the big things. The select, The selects are so crispy, and I think they're so much more consistent than the mini fillets from KFC. And I'm sorry. If you're doing chicken and you're getting outdone by a fucking pedo who has put together a menu and he's dressed in fucking striped pajamas or some shit i'm sorry but you really need to step your game up you really do you really do i will say about kfc though uh the dips largely are great the supercharger sauce oh baby that is that hits that hits the sweet fucking spot it's not too spicy it's not too bland nice just a very solid condiment and they haven't taken it away so got that going for them other stuff on the menu i would avoid the rice boxes and the salads so that could go with the mcdonald's as well the salads is just a complete lost cause if you're going to mcdonald's for a salad you I don't think there is a way out other than blowing your fucking brains out. Um, if you're going to KFC for a rice box or a salad, very, very similar. Rice box may be slightly less worse or bad. But I just, again, you're going to KFC and into KFC knowing that they do chicken and then you sit there and go I fancy rice with the chicken by the way I, I do I fancy some rice it's it's not Chipotle all right it's KFC the rice is going to be shit and the chicken that they provide in it question marks I know there are things I really like at KFC by the way I'm not trashing KFC as a whole I just think there's several things on the menu that really do need improving, and some of them probably just need to be gone. Let's be honest. I'll tell you what, to even the balance, the fucking Crushems, man. Oh, I loved Crushems. I loved them. Great menu item. If you don't know what Crushems are, they're like a sort of milkshake. They uh, incorporated different chocolate products in there. There was... I think they did a milky bar one. That was really nice. Uh, Oreo one, uh, Maltese one. They did that as well. I think they were all nice. They all were premium. And to be honest, I do like the Crushems a lot better than just the McDonald's milkshakes. The the McDonald's milkshakes are fucking just vile most of the time. And that's, that's even if the machine's working. But they're not worth it. Not worth it. So the crushems are good. I like the um, the wraps. I can't remember what they're called though. They're called a specific name. I can't remember. But the wraps at KFC are good because you're not really bothered that the chicken isn't crispy because it's surrounded by everything else, like the, the sort of coleslaw thing they do on the inside, and the sauce 
if you're picking a supercharger source, oh, it's nice. Good. It's good. Popcorn chicken, I think, is all right. Popcorn chicken had a, a massive, like, kind of following. Or uh, is it a fandom? I don't know. Everyone used to fucking get popcorn chicken. I feel like it's slightly dying out now. I don't think people really get popcorn chicken that much, but I did rate it back in the day. And I do like their burgers on the whole. I think the Zinger burgers are fucking quality. The, uh, is it the Zinger stack? I don't know. Where they put the two Zinger chicken patties together. That's nice. That's nice. That's a winner. That's a winner. They're sometimes trying to do, you know, out of the box stuff with the items though. Like they try and put like onion rings and shit in them sometimes. Or like hash browns or something. Don't be doing that. Just to stick to your fucking stick to what you should know, which is chicken. Obviously, sort your mini fillers out, but you should This is the thing I don't get, right? There's one thing on on the uh the KFC menu which is god tier on its basically on its own. But the fillets or the patties in the burgers are always pretty nice and quite crisp. They're not as crispy as selects, but they're decent. But the mini fillets are just really poor in comparison. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But one thing for sure on the menu is god tier, and that is the hot wings. The hot wings are crispy, crunchy, taste brilliant, and they've got a bit of spice. You don't need anything else other than that. And sometimes when I'm ordering KFC, whenever I order it, I will sometimes just say, fuck it, give me 20 wings. 20 wings, and I'll be happy. That's what I'm talking about. It's a great, try it. Try it. Sometimes just having the wings is nice. i tell you what's also nice is, I don't know why I sounded brummy then, um, I tell you what's also nice um, is the the chicken bites. The like the chicken bites with the sauce in it. I mean, you you get about four. You feel robbed because you just you just paid like four quid for them or five quid, whatever it is. But they're nice. They are good. Rate them. So I'm going to move on. Going to move on to Burger King. I'm probably not going to have enough time to talk about all the. I'm just going to talk about the main, like, two or three. And I uh, would you class Burger King as one of the... I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, that was completely unnecessary. I do apologize. Right, Burger King, straight away. Anything on the menu, chicken, shit. Uh, apart from... Maybe apart from the chicken nuggets because i haven't tried them but i've tried all the chicken sam pretty much all the chicken sandwiches like the base ones they do and the the chicken burgers they do they're all shit they're all terrible i like just chicken is shy where they are pretty good and it depends on your taste in burger i guess is um the actual beef burgers are good they are good and uh i've never tried one because you know I'm not a vegan, but I have heard that the burgers or the vegan burgers from Burger King are pretty good. So any like the Angus grilled steak, I don't know what you call it. Is the Angus burger or some shit? I don't know. Like one of the staples of Burger King, right? I will just like to point out, I rarely have Burger King. Like I'll probably have Burger King like once a year. Um, so that it does lag behind a lot. But I'm just saying there's a few things on the menu that are, are okay. But the vast majority is pretty shit, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh the chili bites are okay, chicken fingers are shit. The fries are okay. Oh I'm gonna go back to KFC. Big up to KFC for improving their fries because their fries were absolutely shit before. Now they're actually pretty good. So big ups to KFC. Uh, Burger King fries are okay. I think 
most of their beef burgers are pretty nice. Anything chicken is shite, like I've already said. Um, the big thing with um, Burger King is they don't really have anything that's like... It's like staple. And I mean, like, staple is the wrong word, but one that like kind of catches traction. Like, no one really goes out and goes, have you seen this Burger King burger? It's fucking insane. Whereas when McDonald's did, like, the chicken Big Mac, which is overrated, but it just went mental. People were like, whoa, chicken Big Mac. Whoa, what the fuck, bro? It's, it's shit. Oh, my God. I completely forgot to talk about this. This will probably take us to an hour. If I'm honest, because I w- I am enraged. I'm I'm enraged that I forgot about this more than I am enraged about the thing I'm about to talk about. Right, I I want to know. I want to know who made the decision at McDonald's to scrap the chicken legends. And if you agree with me, you're a legend yourself. Why would you get rid of something on the menu that was quite different to anything else and then keep something like the McChicken sandwich, which is vastly inferior to the new McCrispy and the McSpicy, chicken burgers you keep the mcchicken sandwich why it's inferior to the mccrispy but then you get rid of the chicken legends which in my opinion are fucking absolutely the best chicken burger you can get or chicken i guess it is a chicken burger and it's more like a sub really if we're you know, we're looking at the shape of it, but it's the best chicken item in a bun that you can get at McDonald's. And yet they're not doing it anymore. If they bring it back, fine. But if they change it like they changed the fucking breakfast wrap, I will fucking go to war. I, I can't. I can't be dealing with it. I care too much about these things. A chicken legend. Is a fallen legend. It's 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 up there with one of the best things on the on the menu for me at McDonald's ever. But yeah, I I don't know why or how I forgot to talk about that. But yeah, that's this shit. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the uh, Burger King, Burger King. That's it. What I was talking about. Yeah, does anyone actually give a shit about Burger King anymore? I feel like Burger King might be dying. I, I don't know if it's just me, but there's one Burger King near me, and I don't even know the ne- next one nearest. Might be in Lowestoft, might be in Norwich. No one cares. It's just so far behind the rest, you know? I'm going to move on to Greg's. Greg's is probably across the range, probably the best for consistency, I'd say, in terms of their products and the the way the products actually get to you if you get them delivered. So, staple, sausage roll, amazing. Haven't had the vegan sausage roll, heard good things. Maybe I have tried the vegan sausage, I can't remember. Anyway, if I have, it tasted the same as the normal one, really. So, crap things on the Greg's menu. Now, I'm probably going to get a bit, bit of hate for this. I think the steak bake at Greg's is shit. It's just not nice. Don't know. It's just maybe I don't like gravy. 
Because that I'm pretty sure isn't that what is inside a steak bake is like gravy with what are claimed to be steak pieces. But it's just not I prefer the the chicken bake is better. It is better. It's still not it's still not brilliant, but it's better. Uh I think the thing that sets Greg's apart is their they have such a wealth of nice sweet things. I, I'm not a massive fan of yum yums, but they're all right. A lot of people do like them. The donuts, great. Cookies, great. You know, they do the even down to the little like chocolate caramel slices things. They're really nice. Um, the muffins are really nice. The one thing I don't like from Greg's though, and I don't know if they still do them, is like the it's not a salad box. It was like a rice box thing. And again, I don't know why I ordered this. I don't know why. Maybe I think I was trying to pick the healthier option. But it's just horrible. I had the I think it was like the and this was probably about a year ago. So they probably don't still do it. But the um I think it was like a tikka inspired or Indian some Indian dish inspired rice. You had like uh some sort of onion bhaji thing in there. It was not nice. And I don't recommend if they're still doing it, which I doubt, don't get it. I'd also say they offer like hot things like um wedgies, chicken goujon and chicken bites. They're all pretty meh. I mean the the, the wedgies are okay. The chicken bites I would say are okay. The goujons are naff. I don't really rate the goujons that much. Also the condiments are lacking. You've got a choice of Heinz mayonnaise, pots, Heinz Heinz ketchup, and maybe Heinz sweet chili. Not not a great range. Not a great range. Um they do nice like pretty decent sandwiches. But nothing to write home about. You know what I mean? No. But the worst thing on the menu is, in my opinion, is the steak bake. I know people do like steak bakes, people swear by them, but it's just not for me. Not for me. The uh, the sausage rolls. If you're going to get sausage rolls, don't get the the four pack sausage rolls. You want one that's freshly been made or freshly heated up. I don't want to be cynical, but you know what I mean. They are completely different. I was mugged off where I thought, oh, I've got a fucking better deal here. I can get four for like one quid, if one fifty or two quid. I can't remember. And I got a moment. I was like, these are nothing like the fucking sausage rolls that you get fresh. So get the fresh or the fresher ones. You know, that's better. A bit of good advice for you. Now, I want to end on a fast food chain, but it's not really the same because it's pizza. And I'm going to do all three in one. So... Papa John's. They are fucking shite. At least for my area. Like, the delivery time is absolute wank. They get the delivery address wrong half the amount of time. Uh, we could be waiting like an over an hour for like two pizzas where if we order from Domino's, which is, in my opinion, the clear and only winner in this group of three um, pizzerias, if you can even call them that. Sometimes we can order a pizza from Domino's and get it within 20 minutes, which is fucking banging. Pizza Hut has gone down the metaphorical pan. Like, I don't really think there's anything on the menu that makes me go, wow, that's good. That's fucking good. 
The only reason I used to like going to pizza in the restaurant is because of the salad bar and the fucking, oh, the ice cream at the end, the Mr. Fucking Whippy. He had all the fucking smarties and, you know, everything E number to the max. I'd be bouncing off the fucking windows. I'd be like fucking scratching my arms, asking for my mum, can I, can I, can I have another, another bowl? Do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd be loving it. Loving it. But in terms of the pizza, there's one clear winner. It's Domino's. So we'll go with Domino's. Now, I don't want to be that guy, but the worst pizzas uh, that Domino's do or the worst items that they do are the ones with the most veg on. I mean, if you take one look at me, you probably understand that. You understand why. But the uh, closely followed is anyone who orders a Hawaiian pizza needs some sort of lobotomy, head surgery, you know, just decapitation would do. Uh, it's just awful. It's not, it's not nice. It is one of the worst things they offer because they offer it. Um, I know it tastes shit because pineapple is wank and there's no other way it can be described. But you've also got things on their menu like the chicken strippers, right? Which you get, you have to pay through the nose for if you have like a meal deal. There's always a Domino's meal deal that's without chicken sides. So you have to pay extra for chicken sides. And the fact that you're offered chicken strippers that you have to pay extra for as one of the premium chicken sides makes me angry because I fuck, they are so shit. They are literally, if you have the chicken fries or the chicken fingers, whatever they're called from Burger King, they're literally the same. They're like floppy, flying around all over the place, a bit rubbery. Nah. The chicken kickers are a lot better. So I would recommend them. But they're doing all sorts of stuff now. Domino's are doing like top fries. They're doing like top wedges or whatever the fuck it is. Um, They did the wraps, which have now brought back. They did the wraps like three, four years ago. And then they just randomly started bringing them back. They were pretty decent last time I had them. I haven't had them recently. But, oh, cheeky little fucking meteor wrap. I said, let, I want to actually know this is important. This is important. This is important, right? What is your go-to pizza at Domino's? Because I'll tell you mine. It's one or two. One or two. American Hot. Absolute winner. If you want to be a bit different, get it with barbecue sauce instead of the tomato sauce. And I'll have no one will be coming at me for that in the in the comments because I will delete your existence, right? I'm not having it. Barbecue based pizzas are, I would say, largely better than tomato based ones. Oh, that's just my preference. It's American hot with or without the barbecue base. You can swap it out for the tomato one. Great. Great variation. I do love the meteor. It's great. It just gives you a great mix of everything. Firstly, the barbecue sauce is whew, brilliant. And I would say easily, not even a competition, right, with Domino's, the garlic sauce is a winner. You know, the garlic and herb sauce is a straight up cut your throat winner. Papa John's don't even speak to me about that fucking cum like sauce. I can't deal with it. It's not a nice sauce. The consistency is way, way, way too thick. It looks like clotted cum. It, I can't describe it in any other way. Clotted cum is probably not the best, actually, because. I'd really do like clot cream. That's not a euphemism. Clot cream is nice on a nice scone. 
don't call it a scone. It's a scone. Anyway, don't even come to me with this chat that Papa John's garlic sauce is is a winner. It's a fucking absolute loser, right? I will. They have got a couple of other sauces, Papa John's, that are all right, but it's the garlic sauce that you get with every pizza, as standard is shite. Whereas the garlic sauce that you get with, you know, as standard with every single Domino's pizza is a winner. Easy. Have no contest. Easy. I'm not having it any other way. The I'd probably say the worst, well, one of the worst items on Domino's. They haven't got a lot, you know. They're pretty, they're, I mean, they only do pretty much pizza and a few sides. But even like their, like the cookies are nice. They do the um, the range of ice creams as well, but they're not their own stuff. So do you count that? But then you could say the same for like the Crushams and the McFlurries. Uh, they kind of borrow elements from another established thing. But I would say that the cookies are nice. They did chocolate orange cookies back in the day. I say back in the day. It was probably about a year ago. They were nice. I rated them. And as much as it was sickly, the um, Cadbury cream egg cookies were nice. But my God, they were sickly. Uh, do they do? Do they do some sort of cinnamon roll or some shit? Yeah, that's probably. I I would not be a fan of that. I'm not a massive fan of cinnamon. Yeah, just nah, just not, not for me. So that'll probably be one of the things I'd least appreciate on their menu. But yeah, Domino's is, out of the three, Domino's is king. Like, there's no other way of putting it. Domino's is the best. And then Pizza Hut and Papa John's fight for the scraps. Because Papa John's is frustrating because I do like the pizza. I do like the pizza. I don't think it's as good as Domino's, but I do like the pizza. But the delivery... And that fucking ghastly sauce they give you a standard with the pizzas just rank. It's nah. It's just not the one. It will never be the one. And the more that people say it is brilliant, it makes it worse in my mind. That's how it works. Pizza Hut is a long, long, long way away from its heyday of me going into the restaurant. I mean, they've still got a restaurant near me, to be fair. But I've not been there in, I'd probably say, over 10 years. It's just, I don't know, pizza, it's just, the, the pizza that they do just isn't that great. Nothing to write home about. Nothing to make a podcast on, you know. Nothing to recommend to you guys. I'm trying to think if there's any other fast food chain that I could do. Uh, I mean, I can quickly do Taco Bell, but it's going to be quick and it's going to be scathing. Taco Bell is probably the worst fast food chain in the UK. I think most of their meals or most of their items they offer are basically vomit in a tortilla, vomit over nachos, vomit over... Do they do chips or fries? Probably. It's, it's just... And I like Mexican food. I love fajitas. I love enchiladas. I love burritos. But Taco Bell is shite. Taco Bell is just horrific. I think the only thing that I've ever had from Taco Bell and thought, oh, that was okay, was nachos. And how the fuck... You, you can't really fuck up nachos. So... Yeah, Taco Bell is probably, I would say, no, I'd stick to my guns, is the worst fast food chain in the UK. Awful. Awful shit. All of it is overpriced, looks horrible, tastes meh, and just isn't, it's not even like nice to look at. Some food you go, oh, that looks nice, and then you eat it and it's shit. But nothing at Taco Bell looks nice. 
and uh, I suppose there's no brand deal coming. But then I wouldn't want one with Taco Bell anyway. They're pretty shit. <coughs> Jesus Christ. I need to drown myself with water. <coughs> I'm waterboarding myself for even mentioning Taco Bell. Jesus Christ. Ugh. I'm dying. Jesus. Anyway, stay hydrated, everyone. Perhaps don't waterboard yourself when you're drinking. My voice is not recovered. Ugh. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry we haven't got a full-fledged episode and it's just me getting shit about fast food, but, you know, I, I, slightly short notice, this was uh, my giant version of planning a podcast on the fly. I do appreciate everyone watching and listening, wherever you are, doing so from, and I hope you have a good day, and I hope you continue to have a good day, even after you've probably wasted your time listening to this or watching this. So I'll see you in the next one. Up the hammer. Bye-bye for now. See ya.